Hey everyone, Tomislav from BPB here. I'm happy to announce that BPB has released a free plugin called Dirty LA. It's a free compressor plugin uh, inspired by the vintage limiting amplifiers, but we added our own twist to it by implementing a dirty algorithm that helps you saturate the signal and make the compression more interesting. I'm currently away from the studio, so I asked some of my favorite content creators to take Dirty LA for a spin and record their first impressions. So that's what you'll see now. What up? My name is AJ Hall. I'm here to talk to you about a brand new plugin from Bedroom Producers Blog. It's called Dirty LA. Let's go. Here we are at the kit. I'm going to record a drum break and then I'm going to run it through that Dirty LA. Here we go. Alright, so let's go all the way reset on this plugin. Mix knob is all the way up and the output is at 12 o'clock, which means I'm not adding any gain. Oh, I will be adding some gain when I add these settings. So check it out. I'm just going to play around with the peak reduction first. So that's giving me kind of a distressor vibe, you know what I mean? I'm going to take it from 0 all the way up to 50 again. Check this out. Now, depending on who's watching this, that might sound a little extreme. It actually sounds really killing to me, so to gain match those two, check it out. Now, the mix knob is all the way up. Let's put that on 50% with the gain reduction right where it is. I think I'm really going to love the way it sounds parallel. Depending on how you want to mix the drums with this thing, or you're, you're kind of seeing any audio source, you can get a really, really smashed sound, but you can tame it back in the mix as much as you want. I'm really, really digging this. Now, there's another section in this plugin just called Dirt, all right? And it's adding a little bit of saturation to my ears. I'm going to take it all the way up at 100%. It's probably going to sound insane. But we're going to dial it back afterwards, all right? Mix is all the way up, too. So this is probably going to sound nuts. Let's see. Honestly, if you're running that parallel, let's take the mix down to 50%. We're kind of getting Jay-Z and Alicia Keys vibes on these drums with that super duper smashed sound. Another really cool feature about this plugin is it has a built-in limiter. Let's turn the limiter on and off, right? The limiter is really squashing those transients. It's honestly giving me kind of, you know, distressor vibes, maybe even the Volf compressor. Just any compression effect where you want really, really hard-hitting, aggressive smack and you want to be able to control how much of that you're adding to a signal, I highly recommend the Dirty LA. It's a really, really easy to use graphic user interface, and this thing has now taken up permanent residence on my Drum Break Master Channel, all right? All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for me, AJ Hall. That's the Dirty LA plugin by Bedroom Producers Blog. Be sure to check that out, and be sure to check out my website, leftfielddrumbreaks.com. I make drum break sample packs for producers right here in my studio. I use four different drum sets, and I run them all through tape, so perfectly loopable, analog, gritty, grimy, boom bap style drum breaks, usable in any DAW or sampler and you can check them out via the link below. Thanks. It's only using about 0.14% of the available CPU on my system and zero latency, which is awesome. Let's start tweaking some knobs and seeing if we can increase that amount of CPU. Just a little bit of an increase with dirt on and dirt all the way up. We go up to 0.3% of the available CPU. Next, we're going to see how many we can load on a track before it crashes. Reaper. The good thing is it is just opening without lagging the system in between instances that we're opening. This is opening like butter. This is opening like it's not even affecting the system at all. That's awesome to see in a free plugin. 200 instances, 18 percent of the available CPU being used. Very lightweight and stable. And that's with everything kind of maxed up with all the controls on. <laughs> We're
works really well for bringing up the tail of an acoustic guitar. That's really good. I like that. Let's try the dirt. Woo. Oh, that's thickening it up. It's doing a really good job of what I would reach for a compressor for a bass to do, which is bringing up the tail so that we get more bass consistency through the, through the mix. Bass is kind of falling away there. It's got a stronger low end now. It feels more reinforced in the low end. I like it. I like it. What up, guys? Uh, my name is some 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 hit the keys. I'm a rapper slash producer slash content creator on YouTube. I'm here today to check out Dirty LA by Bedroom Producer Blog. Um, let's go ahead and hop right into FL Studio. Um, so I basically have Dirty LA on a bass. Um, I haven't applied it to the bass yet. We're going to do that together. Um, so here is the little loop or the sample that I put together for today. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what Dirty LA can do. I'm gonna move this down real quick and we're just gonna solo out the bass by itself real quick for just a moment. Um, again, this is what the bass sounded like. So I'm assuming that this is their emulation of an LA 2A, except for they're doing a bedroom producer blog style. Um, so what they like to do with a lot of their plugins is add this little dirt feature over here, which I love. It adds a little bit of subtle saturation. So I'm assuming you got your mix. Obviously, this is your peak reduction. Um, you have your dirt right here. You can turn it on or off and then you have output and dirt. Uh, so what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to turn the peak reduction up just a little bit um, and then I'm going to uh, slam up some of this dirt. So you can hear immediately that it's giving that bass more life and it had some saturation. I like that. So now let's go ahead and bypass it and go back and forth and hear what it sounded like before and after. So here is after, and then I'll bypass it and go to before. So you can hear it's adding a little bit. I can pull this peak reduction back a little bit and it'll obviously boost it a little bit more. Now let's just check it out in the beat real quick. So now I'm gonna do one more uh, before and after. So we'll go ahead and do before and then we'll go after in the middle of the beat. So you can hear there clear as day that it is adding a little bit of a subtle boost, adding a little bit of saturation, and it's not destroying your sound. I like this. I like this. Hi, my name is Benedict for Higher Hertz. This is not a review as such. We're just taking a quick look at the, uh, the new uh, Dirty LA from Bedroom Producer blog. As the name indicates, it is based around the concept and some of the design of the classic LA-2A. One of my favorite compressors, the ADHD limiting tool is also built on that, but it results in quite a different outcome. We've got the ability to mix, and this is our peak reduction. So basically it's our threshold. We've got the option between your normal compression mode or a limiter mode. Now, I haven't had any paperwork come across with it, but I'm assuming the limiter mode is faster. You'll see that it tends to be doing more work, significantly more work, when it's in limiter mode. The LA-2A was designed as a program limiter initially, so it's consistent with it. And you have no control over attack and release, which you didn't have on an LA-2A 
either. They have just set numbers that they think are going to be pretty good. That's putting us into that kind of public enemy sort of thing. We can, of course, do the parallel thing, should we so desire. So we're getting the original dynamic signal come through. We've got that pretty heavily punched signal together. So we get that sort of what people will refer to as best of both worlds. And I actually like the results here. Normally, for people who follow me, I'm not a big fan of the mixing thing. I tend to be of the pick one side of the fence and go there fella. Uh, but in this case, it's kind of cool. This is built on something that was infinitely usable in the first place, the LA-2A. I mean, I've never used one, but obviously they were very usable uh, and has given you a set of tools that will do an awful lot without your needing to get into the tack and release. Yes, it limits what you can do, excusing the pun, uh, because you don't have control over attack and release. But at the same time, you don't always need to have that much control when you're looking for a particular result, which is what this is designed to do. And just adding that little bit of jump there is giving us exactly what we hoped for. Really, really sweet device. I liked it straight away, which to me is, is great, and I'm starting to develop a real liking overall for Bedroom Producer Blog's Dirty Series which of course makes me somewhat intrigued or interested to see if they can give us a nice dirty modulating delay. Um, maybe we'll give them some ideas. Again, Benedict for higher hertz. Have a great day. And that's all for this video. Thank you to all content creators who made this video possible. I hope you liked Dirty LA and you can download it for free and the download link is in the description. Thanks for watching.